हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज बायोकेमिस्ट्री बेसिक्स बाय डॉक्टर अमित दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज ऑन इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन एंड टूडेज इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इज आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ डिसऑर्डर फ्रॉम द गिवन इमेजेस फाइन सो देर आर टू इमेजेस फर्स्ट इमेज इज रिलेटेड टू द टिपिकल फेशियल फीचर सो फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट पिक्चर देर इज अ फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट पिक्चर वी कैन हैव आइडिया दैट देर इज अ बॉजिंग ऑफ स्कल there is a prominence of maxillary region and there is a widening of spaces in between teeth so this is the characteristic chipmunk face it is the characteristic chipmunk face which is also known as a mongoloid face fine so that is about the first picture second picture is related to the x-ray of skull and in the x-ray of skull there is a characteristic hair on end appearance is seen there is a characteristic hair on end appearance is seen and this hair on end appearance is because of bone marrow hyperplasia which occurs due to the chronic hemolysis so this chipmunk face and hair on end appearance is seen in thalassemia so this is the case of thalassemia now this thalassemia is defined as a it is a group of genetically transmitted disorder of hemoglobin synthesis it is a group of genetically transmitted disorder of hemoglobin synthesis which occurs due to the absence or decreased synthesis of alpha or beta globin chain so that is the definition of thalassemia now we all know that uh, hemoglobin is the protein which is required for the transfer of oxygen and carbon dioxide and this hemoglobin is a tetrameric protein which means it is composed of two alpha and two beta globin chain and this alpha globin chain is coded by four copies of alpha globin chain while beta globin chain is coded by two copies of beta globin chain fine so that is about the details regarding alpha and beta chain and their gene now we will see what are the various types of thalassemia so depending upon the genetic defect involved if it is going to affect the synthesis of alpha globin chain then it will be called as alpha thalassemia and if it is going to affect the synthesis of beta globin chain then it will be known as a beta thalassemia and this alpha thalassemia is further divided into four types first one is the silent carrier type if one of the four copies of alpha globin gene is mutated then it will lead to the silent carrier type second one is the alpha thalassemia trait if two of the four copies of alpha globin gene is mutated then it will lead to the alpha thalassemia trait third type is the hemoglobin h disease if three of the four copies of alpha globin gene is mutated then it will lead to the hemoglobin h disease and the fourth one is the hydrops fetalis if the four copies of alpha globin gene is mutated then it will lead to the hydrops fetalis so that is about the alpha thalassemia now beta thalassemia is further divided into two major type one is the thalassemia major and another is the thalassemia minor this thalassemia minor occurs if there is a one of the two copies of the beta globin gene is mutated then it will lead to the thalassemia minor and this thalassemia minor is the heterozygous state person will not be having any major complaints he or she will be having only mild anemia while the second type of beta thalassemia is the beta thalassemia major and this beta thalassemia major occurs because of mutation in the two copies of the beta globin gene and it is incompatible to life fine and this beta thalassemia major is the homozygous state and the person will be requiring frequent blood transfusion for the survivor so that is all about today's image based question please like share and subscribe biochemistry basics by dr amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it thank you